Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you today? Stressful. Oh, you're stressed. No, pero si están como es es igual como la around. Do you have a hard day? A very busy day. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Um, all right. So I hope that you have had a very very good day. Let's, um, yesterday we watched a video about imperatives. Uh, good evening, Henry. So, um, yes, we practiced and discussed about imperatives. We also watched the video and practiced uh, a little with the conversation. So today we're going to start from there. Vamos a partir de ahí con la conversación, ya que ayer no pudimos practicarla por cuestión de tiempo. But yes, today we're going to finish the section number two. Vamos a terminar ahora esa sección y pues esperaría eh, que pues hagan eh, caso al recordatorio que se les envió ahora, ¿verdad? De trabajar en la plataforma. Eh, traten de completar los ejercicios de la sección 1, la sección 2, avancen en la sección 3 si les es posible. Y recuerden que después de la 3 viene el midterm exam, esta es nuestra sexta clase, ya solo tenemos 10, entonces ya vamos bastante avanzaditos. Eh, hay que aprovechar y trabajar cualquier duda o pregunta con los ejercicios, apóyense del, del chat del grupo. O pues pueden escribirme a mí y yo voy a tratar de contestar lo más rápido que me sea posible. So let's begin. Uh, let's listen the conversation one more time so you can refresh on pronunciation. This is what we got uh, to practice. And we didn't have time yesterday, but today we do. So let's listen. I'm going to pause the conversation, allowing you time for you to repeat. Page 81, exercise six, conversation. Don't work too hard. Listen and practice. Hello, Ms. West. How are you today? Not so good. What's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Hmm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every evening after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. Okay, so remember you have that conversation in the presentation that is sent over. Acá tienen la conversación. Está en la presentación que les envié el lunes. Um, so, no, I don't want to envié. But yes, um, let's practice this. Remember, intonation is important. La entonación es importante, ¿verdad? Es... Um, para sonar natural, por ejemplo, aquí en la, en la oración esta, en el que dices, uh, 
I'm exhausted. Estoy cansada, estoy exhausta. I'm exhausted. Que suena como que de verdad estamos cansados. I'm exhausted. And then the doctor asks, mm, why are you so tired? So try, right? I'm going to create the breakout rooms. Practiquemos lo más que se pueda la conversación. Y luego regresamos a la sección principal para chequear cómo nos fue. Let me create the rooms. Okay, let's practice. Okay, let's take a look at, at you. A few more moments. Uh, I'm going to give you some pill. Take one pill, everything after dinner. Okay. And don't bring coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, 
I don't work too hard. All right. Thank you, Dr. John. Nice. Okay. I'm start. I don't know if you want to follow the conversation with Manuel or Pat. Or Pat. Okay. Okay. Hi, Mr. West. Okay. Hello, Mr. West. How are you today? Um, I'm not so good. What's wrong exactly? I exhausted. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. Oh, sorry. I'm going to give up some piles. Take one pill every evening after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. All right. Thanks, Dr. Young. Okay, thanks. Okay. Hello, Mr. West. How are you today? Not so good. What's wrong exactly? I forget the pronoun exhaust, exhaust. It's like, oh, it's like, oh, exhausted. Uh -huh. exhausted. I'm exhausted. Okay. I'm exhausted. Mm -hmm. why, why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm going to give you some fill. Take one fill every evening after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. All right, thanks, Dr. Tom. Okay, thanks. very well done. I just hear, remember in this case, for it's evening. Evening. Okay, suena como I, la primera E que está ahí, evening. Uh, take, I pronounce it, take one pill every evening after dinner. Y también tenemos que ser como más, eh, Eh, la pronunciación de la T cuando es don't. Don't work too hard. Don't work too hard. Okay? But that's it. You're doing it great. Lo están haciendo muy bien. Thank you may continue. Thank you very much. Okay, let's go. Hello, Mr. West. Are are you today? No, so you. What's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Um, why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. you. I am going to give them some pills. Um. Take one pill every evening after dinner. Okay. And don't, don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't don't work too hard. All right. Thank you, Dr. Hume. Okay, you did a very, very good job. Yo, yo. Dr. Young. Do you have any question before we close the room? Ya casi vamos a la sección principal. ¿Alguna pregunta? Ten seconds. Ten seconds. <laughs> Six, <laughs> five, four. See you. See you. Well, we're back again. I heard a couple of you practicing and you were doing a very, very good job. Now let's see, do we have volunteers to role play the conversation for all the group? Volunteers? You can raise your hand 
and volunteer to role play the conversation. Okay, we got Elsie and veo una pero es como reacción, son unos aplausitos, no sé. Okay, Elsie and I think Suleima. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay, I'm I am ready. I Dr. John. Okay. 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 Hello, Miss West. How are you today? Uh, not so good. What's wrong exactly? I'm in success. Mm, why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I am going to give you some pill. Take one pill every evening after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. All right, thanks, Dr. Jam. Okay, we finished. <laughs> You did it excellent. Thank you so much for your participation. You did a very good job. Now let's continue with Laura and uh, creo que vi alguien más por ahí, Laura y Oscar, I think. Okay, good. Let's go ahead. Tengo a Henry también. Ahí pueden dejar la manita y luego pues um, cuando participen ya la pueden bajar para no confundirnos. Entonces vamos con Laura y Oscar. Okay. Hello, Mrs. West. How are you today? So good. What's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Mm. Why are you so tired? I don't know. I just don't sleep at night. Okay. Let's let's take a look at, look at you. I'm going to give you some pills. Take one pill every evening after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes, don't work too hard. All right, thanks, Dr. John. Well done, you did a very good job. Eh, ambos grupos lo hicieron muy bien. Hay una, uh, esa frasecita que como que nos cuesta un poquito, pero no hay problemas. Let's take a look at you. Let's take a look at you. Y luego vayan tratando de irlo haciendo un poquito Let's más fluido. Let's take a look at you. Let's, Let's take a look at you. But it's okay. Es como un mini trabalengua, ¿verdad? So no worries. Pueden irlo practicando. hacer. Let's take a look at you. Let's take a look at you. Yeah, sí, pues, sucesivamente. Very good. We have Henry. And uh, veo la manita de Henry por ahí y la de Byron. Okay. Uh, Dr. John. Hello, Mr. Gray. How are you today? Not so good. What's wrong exactly? I'm excited. Mm, why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's let say a look at you. Um, I am going to have have you some fear? Take uh, take one pill every uh, evening. Every evening after dinner. Okay. And do I drink coffee? I don't. I don't drink for coffee, tea, or, soda. or soda. Anything else? Just don't work too hard. 
All right. Thanks, Dr. John. Okay, well okay. done. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you, thank you. Uh, let's see. I'm going to give you give. Yes, that word, give. And then pills, like this, pills. That's kind of como se ve casi. So uh, let's continue there. Uh, yesterday we saw about imperatives. Hablábamos ayer de los imperatives. El uso, cómo se forman. Decíamos que no necesitan sujeto. Solamente es el verbo y pues algún tipo de complemento después del verbo. Eh, hay afirmativo, um, um, imperativos que son afirmativos y también se pueden hacer en forma negativa usando el auxiliar do not, que en este caso pues es don't, right? don't, así como lo practicamos en la conversación, don't. ¿Para qué los usamos los imperativos? Para dar órdenes, eh, para invitar, para dar consejos, para señales, eh, direcciones, instrucciones y advertencias. Para eso es que se usan los imperativos, esto lo discutimos ayer. En el video que vimos eh, estaba esta pequeña cajita de, de gramática acerca de los imperativos. Eh, como pueden ver en este lado tenemos solo afirmativos, right? Get some rest, drink a lot of juice, take one pill every evening. Y al otro lado tenemos negativos. Como decíamos, vamos a poner don't, luego el verbo y algún complemento, ¿verdad? Don't stay up late, don't drink soda, and don't work too hard. Those are kind of uh, examples of imperatives that we have. Lo vimos ayer en la plataforma y también pues eh, los tenemos por acá. Eh, tenemos este ejercicio de completar las oraciones usando la forma correcta de las palabras que están aquí en la cajita. Vamos a escuchar el audio del punto de gramática para poder este practicar otro poquito en la pronunciación. Creo que no le di compartir. Déjenme ver. ¿Ah? Mm -mm. Let me try again. I'm sharing now. Okay. So, this is what we got there. Eso es lo que tenemos ahí. Voy a poner el audio y ustedes pueden repetir en casa para que practiquemos un poquito más pronunciación. No se escucha. Don't listen. Okay. I can hear you, teacher. Okay, I'm sorry. Ahorita, ahorita arreglamos eso. Vamos. Vamos. otra vez. Page 82. Can you listen now? Exercise 9. Yes, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Nine. Grammar focus. Imperatives. Get some rest. Drink lots of juice. Take one pill every evening. Don't stay up late. Don't drink soda. Don't work too hard. Page 82, Exercise 9, Grammar Focus, Imperatives. Get some rest. 
Drink lots of juice. Take one pill every evening. Don't stay up late. Don't drink soda. Don't work too hard. Ok, ahora pues nos vamos a mover al ejercicio que tenemos ahí, que es completar las oraciones usando la forma correcta de las palabras que están en la cajita. Tenemos, por ejemplo, call, see, stay, take, not go, not worry, not drink, not eat. Si tenemos las primeras dos ya hechas, como ejemplo, la uno, eh, se utilizó el verbo o palabra call y nos quedó call a dentist. La segunda que se usó fue not worry, pero como sabemos que si es para un imperative, lo ponemos como do not, que es atrás don't. Ok, esto ya es en forma corta, don't. Don't worry too much. Solo podemos usar las palabras una vez. Call y not worry ya fueron usadas para la 1 y la 2. Ahora vamos a tratar de completar la, de la 3 a la 8. Serían 6 oraciones las que van a escribir en su cuaderno usando lo que está en la cajita, ¿verdad? Y completando ahí, dependiendo si es afirmativo o negativo, le vamos a dar sentido a estas oraciones completándolas. Les voy a dar un tiempito para que puedan hacerlo en su cuadernito y luego pues compartimos cómo nos quedó. Ready, teacher. Okay, it is time to check your work. Let's listen to Kenny. Do you have the number three, Kenny? Yes, it's time to aspirin. Okay, let's check. It says take to aspirin. That is correct, Kenny. Thank you so much. Take two aspirin. Kenny, select somebody to continue with number four, please. 
Vilma. Can you repeat that again, please? Vilma. No sé si es que tiene problemas con el micrófono. Escucho como que dicen algo, pero no escucho claramente. Seleccione a alguien más. Creo que Vilma está teniendo problemitas. Don't go to school. Don't go to school. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. That's the answer. Don't go to school. Vilma, select somebody else to continue. Stay in my in bed. Okay, stay in bed. Okay, who continues? See a doctor. See a doctor. Anybody else for number seven? Don't drink. Don't drink coffee. Don't drink coffee. Okay, a volunteer for number eight. Don't eat any candy. That is correct. Thank you so much. Don't eat any candy. So those are the recommendations that we got here. And we have a similar exercise. Tenemos otro ejercicio en el que pues les vamos a compartir pantalla para explicar. Ok, esto es lo que acabamos de hacer. Hicieron un excelente trabajo. En este pues se nos daban ya como las palabritas que íbamos a colocar para formar las oraciones en imperativos. Ahora pues el siguiente ejercicio tenemos estas cuatro situaciones. Tenemos um, write two pieces of advice for each problem. Vamos a escribir dos consejos para cada problema. Si pueden escribir más, mucho que mejor. La idea es producir, practicar. Eh, ¿Cuáles son las situaciones? Number one, this is my feet hurt. Number two, I have a sore wrist. Number three, I have the flu. Number four, I can't sleep at night. Okay. En grupo vamos a pensar qué consejo eh, le daríamos o qué indicaciones le daríamos a cada persona. Acuérdense que la idea es utilizar imperativos y pueden ser afirmativos o negativos. Eh, por ejemplo, esta persona, si le duelen los pies, eh, dice, my feet hurt. Yo podría decirle, no... No te pongas tacones. Don't wear high heels. ¿Ok? Para que no le den más los pies. O para que lo descanse. Don't wear high heels. As that could be a recommendation. And, ¿Sí? I can say don't use these shoes. Don't use those shoes. Uh -huh. Ajá. No, no ocupes eso, aquellos, esos zapatos. Don't use those shoes. Mm -hmm. Good. Good idea. So, eso es lo que van a estar haciendo. Crear dos o más. Si pueden más, mucho que mejor. Y lo van a hacer en grupo para que puedan compartir ideas y trabajar en eso de la mejor manera posible. Entre más, no es que solo dos estrictamente. Pueden hacer tres, hasta tres. Vamos a hacer los rooms and create. Okay, there you go.
And I have uh, some people still in the room. Did you finish the exercise? Yep. Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Let's wait for the rest to join and we're going to check together. Um, good, everybody's back again. So let's see. All right, um, here we are. Let's see, a volunteer to share what you got for number one. A volunteer. Okay, Laura. Wear a socks. Okay, wear a sock. Any other? Carla? Don't we, don't we do your hands after you see, ah, in la primera, eh, verdad? Yes. Excuse me, excuse me. Um, don't walk too much. Don't walk too much. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Anybody else? Alguien más tiene algo para la una? Oscar. Don't take off your shoes. Uh, okay, don't take off your shoes. Uh, probably after a long day, right? That's nice. Thank you very much. That's good advice. Anybody else? Working in the house. Okay, good. Elsie? Mm, use uh, comfort shoes. Ah, uh, yes. Use comfortable shoes. That's nice. Thank you so much. Okay. Now, Let's move with the number two. I have a sore wrist. What do you get? Volunteers? Laura? Take, take an analgesic. Take an analgesic? Okay, good. That's good advice. Any other? Is there any other? Oscar? Don't wet with cold water. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Carla? Number two. Um, I see what Don't wet your hands after using the computer. Oh, nice. Important. Thank you so much. Suleyma? I play a muslin cream. All right, that sounds good. Apply muscle cream. Yeah, apply muscle cream. Good. Now let's move with the number three. I have the flu. What do you have? Apply a nasal spray. All right, very good. Apply a nasal spray. Very good. Sounds good. Anybody else? Drink tea, don't, chamomile. Don't. What does mean apply? Apply, aplicar. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Laura? Don't clean the house. Don't clean the house? Oí bien lejos por ahí. Y veo tres manitas. Veamos, Laura. What do you got for number three? Drink a lot of water. Drink a lot of water. That's important when you get the flu. Excellent. Suleyma? Take some rest. Take some rest. Nice. Kenny? And two ginger tea. Mm. Okay, that's <laughs> nice. Yeah, ginger might be very, very useful in this case. So good advice. Let's move to number four. I can't sleep at night. What do you have? Laura? Drink a glass of milk. Drink a glass of milk, hot or cold? Hot. Hot milk. Okay, nice. Very nice. Thank you so much. Anybody else with number four? 
Uh, don't watch TV too late. Oh, mm -hmm. important. Nice advice. Don't watch TV before going to bed or before going to sleep. That's that can be useful to um, anybody else. Henry. And uh, like we, eh, bueno, sería evite desvelarse por las noches. Sería don't wake. Don't. Uh huh. Don't stay up late. Okay. Um, ¿Cómo se dice la palabra la U y, y adelante tiene la P? Hop. Up. Up. I don't stay up late. Uh, do I, do I good. Up much so you can left. Lamp. Okay. Don't stay up late so you can sleep. Uh huh. That's, that's good. Good advice. Anybody else? Tenemos alguien más? Don't stay on the phone too late. Yes, don't spend too much time on the phone, especially if it is late. Yes, good. Uh, anybody else? Y la Drink. Por... Uh -huh. Drink some tea. Drink some tea. That's important. Eh, tengo la manita de Carla por ahí levantada. Early and light diner. Mm -hmm. Que coma temprano y liviano. Que cene ah. temprano y liviano. Eat early and light. Ah. Ok. Ok, ok. Eat early and light. Uh -huh. Light food. Yeah, that's important too. That can help a lot. Very good job. You did it nice. As I told you before, como ya habíamos mencionado, la sección 2 pues es bastante corta y la terminamos. Eh, ya vamos a pasar a la lectura para chequear vocabulario. Si hay algo que hacer por ahí, eh, lo vamos a discutir. Pronunciación as well. Este es el último ejercicio de la sección 2. Sería la lectura. 10 simple ways to improve your health. So, vamos a ver cuáles son las 10 maneras simples de mejorar la salud. 10 simple ways to improve your health. So, vamos a ver el video. Con esto terminamos la sección 2. Importante, importante. Y les recuerdo, trabajen los ejercicios de la plataforma. Sección 1 terminada, sección 2 también. Y si van, pueden avanzar con la 3, mucho que mejor. ¿Verdad? Eh, cualquier duda o pregunta pueden escribir. Acuérdense que es parte para obtener su certificado, ¿verdad? La, que estén completos con un mínimo del 80%. La asistencia también a las videoconferencias. Y les recuerdo, ¿verdad? Sé que pues de repente puede surgir alguna emergencia o que no se sientan bien. Está bien que avisen, ¿verdad? So, Pero no, no somos nosotros quienes podemos dar o, o decir sí o no, ¿verdad? Para dar permiso. Siempre tienen que comunicar administración para que no vayan a tener luego inconvenientes. Después del anuncio, vamos a escuchar ahora sí la lectura. Let's pay attention and then we're going to discuss and ask questions in case that we have. Hi everyone, in this class you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for main ideas. By reading and discussing an article about how to improve your health. 10 Simple Ways to Improve Your Health Believe it or not, you can greatly improve your health in 10 simple ways. 1. Eat breakfast. Breakfast gives you energy for the morning. 2. Go for a walk. Walking is good exercise, and exercise is necessary for good health. 3. Floss your teeth. Don't just brush them. Flossing keeps your gums healthy. 4. Drink 8 cups of water every day. Water helps your body in many ways. 5. Stretch for 5 minutes. Stretching is important for your muscles. 6. Wear a seat belt. 
Every year, seat belts save thousands of lives. 7. Do something to challenge your brain. For example, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. 8. Protect your skin. Use lots of moisturizer and sunscreen. 9. Get enough calcium. Your bones need it. Dairy foods, like yogurt, milk, and cheese, have calcium. 10. Take a time out. A break of about 20 minutes. Do something different. For example, get up and walk. Or sit down and listen to music. After the reading, you have an exercise in the platform. Tienen un ejercicio también acerca de esa lectura. Lo pueden desarrollar pues eh, cuando tengan su chancecito. Okay, so let's see. This is basically what we listen on the platform. Let's check if you have uh, questions. Number one, it says eat breakfast. A volunteer to read? Voluntario para leer la uno? Oscar? Okay. Uh, eat breakfast. Breakfast gives your energy for that morning. Excellent. Thank you so much. Este vocabulario está sencillo. I think that no question. Number two, go for a walk. Laura. Go, go for a walk. Walking is good exercise. And exercise is necessary for good health. Excellent. Thank you so much, Laura. Questions so far? Questions? Preguntas del dos? That's easy, right? Volunteer to read the number three. Floss your teeth. Alguien que quiera leer la parte tres? Okay. Floss your teeth. Don't just brush teeth. Brushing keep your gums healthy. healthy. Okay, very good. Flossing keeps your gums healthy. Thank you so much. Um, preguntas? La acción de floss es pasar el hilo eh, de lo dental, ¿verdad? El floss your teeth. Is it gums son las encías. Mm -hmm. What does it mean, hosting? Flossing. A flossing. Eh, pasar el hilo dental. Flossing. Mm -hmm. Anybody else? Let's see, got Bridget. Do you want to read the number four, Bridget? Or you have a question? Number four. Take glass, glass of water every day. Water helps your body in many ways. In many ways. Very good. Thank you so much. Henry, number five. Um, three, four, five minutes. Stretch is important for your muscle. Okay. Stretching is important for your muscles. Very uh -huh. good. Thank you so much. Stretching, estirarse, stretch. El verbo, como ven aquí, es stretch. Stretch for five minutes. Es un yarn. Estírate por cinco minutos. Stretching is important for your muscles. Very good. Uh, let's see number six. Veo que tiene la manita levantada, Suleima. Uh, number six. Yes, please. Get, get, enough. get enough calcium. Your bones need it dairy food like yo yogurt, 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 milk, and cheese have calcium. Okay, very good. This is Tava Sencillo, ¿verdad? Just yogurt, la palabra yogurt. Poquito complicated. That's nice. Thank you so much. Then we have number seven. Volunteer for number seven? I teach. Thank you. Do, do something to challenge 
your brain. For example, do a crossword puzzle or read a new book. Okay, something. Very good, thank you so much. Do something to challenge your brain. That's easy or difficult. Challenge es retar, hay que poner un reto al cerebro. And crossword puzzles son como los crucigramas de palabras. That's a crossword puzzle. Very good, thank you so much. Number eight, veo la manita de Carla levantada. Number eight, take a time out, a break of about 20 minutes. Don't something different. For example, get, a, get up and work or sit down and listen to music. Very good. Remember, it's something, something different. Very good. Thank you so much, Carla. Number nine, a volunteer. Elsie? Okay. Wear a seat. Sit. Sit sit belt. 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 Okay. Every year, sit belt say thousands of life. Excellent. Thank you so much. And the last one, la, la ultima is protect your skin. Volunteer? Now volunteers for number 10. Lara, thank you. Protect your skin. Use lots of moisture. Moisturizer. Moisturizer and sunscreen. Very good, excellent. Palibrita complicada, verdad? Moisturizer. Moisturizer. Ajá, humectante, eso quiere decir moisturizer. Okay, so those are the 10 simple ways to improve your health. Tenemos consejos ahí para mejorar la salud. So I think that we apply some of them. Moisturizing, more fall, stretching. Yes, so we define vocabulary. Ya vimos el vocabulary, un poco de pronunciación. Pienso que aprovechamos bastante la hora de clase. Gracias por unirse. Acuérdense trabajar en sus ejercicios, ponerse al día, cualquier duda o pregunta, háganlo por, um, para que se pongan al día, que no haya atraso y pues estén bien con eso. So thank you for joining. Enjoy your weekend. Remember tomorrow no clases. No tenemos clase mañana. Enjoy and be safe. See you on Monday. Happy weekend. Happy weekend. Happy weekend. Sleep well.